After almost three decades of using generators to power the turtle nesting facility in Matura, Nature Seekers has received solar panels to assist in the site's day-to-day -day operations. Sunalala has the details. Nature Seekers is the first of 12 locations to benefit from the installation of solar photovoltaic systems across the country. Funded by the European Union, the project aims to push the agenda towards reducing this country's carbon footprint. Managing Director of Nature Seekers, Suzanne lacan Batiste says it was needed since the facility does not have a power supply. We thought it would have been so expensive for us as an um, NGO to actually have a solar system in this forested areas because for T and Tech to come in, you must have a number of persons who would apply and then they would see it financially feasible. The solar panels have been operating for a month at the facility and she says it has been a significant cost-saving initiative. We only rent the generator, that's $350 a night plus $100 to put diesel every night. And we work from March to August. The cost of generator increases over the last year, so to give you a total ballpark figure, but we will use about almost three to four liters per night of diesel. And Minister of Planning and Development Penelope Beckles Robinson says the initiative helps this country reach a step closer to reducing its carbon footprint. Nearly half of the households in Trinidad and Tobago have an energy consumption level that is on par with North American households and nearly three times the global average. The UNDP says nature seekers dependence on generators created emissions that add up to approximately 3.7 tons of CO2 annually, equal to a vehicle driving from Arima to Port of Spain and back for a year. The 12 locations were selected from a list of 164 applications received and the minister and the EU says with more funding, this could be expanded to more sites. Sonolala, TTT News.